Commerce Trails. Okay, so any of the 14ers can kill you, but a handful of them stand above the rest in terms of risk. So here are my top five. Nice job, Leanne. Ladies and gentlemen, Long's Peak. Nice job, Vicky. Yes. <laughs> Nice job, Dante. When Vicky, Leanne, Dante, and Scott reached the summit of Long's Peak, it made it all worth it. A sleep-deprived climb of 15 miles and a sore body for days. We beat the odds on Colorado's deadliest 14. You know, I really had to talk myself through it, but you know, it's mind over body, and I made it, and I am so proud, and I completely feel accomplished today. Of course, they don't all turn out that way. Climbing 14ers is risky business. Long's is deceptively long with double digit miles of hiking above treeline painful for the unacclimatized and a committing route that wraps all the way around the mountain, leaving you exposed to daily thunderstorms. We can get it heading up to the south moon right here. Beautiful day in the mountains. Just some residual moisture up here, so it's not bad. It's gonna be a great climb, Chris. The maroon bells are also on my list. They are known as the deadly bells. Their standard route is full of loose, rotten rock and rock fall misplaced cairns, and the routes often take climbers longer than anticipated, allowing weather to trap you high on the mountain. Uh, you said it. You were coming up and you said this is like one of your favorite climbs together, right? It's one of my favorites, but it's also very challenging. I mean, even this time, the snow conditions were about as difficult as I've ever seen them. Exposure and distance, two factors that put Capitol Peak on my list. Like Long's Peak, Capitol is a 15-mile round-trip climb. The knife edge is infamous, and you absolutely have to plan for it. So the knife edge is like that. It's right in there, yeah. Like it notches out and then it comes up, right? Yeah, it's kind of right in there. So you can see what happens if you were to go down here. You don't want to go down there. And Joe, you don't want to go down here. It can take teams four to six hours to cross the knife edge, reach the summit, and come back. Daily weather often moves in during that time and can trap you. It's the commitment that'll kill you. Chris is inching his way down the hourglass. I'm in it. Water coming down. Came down from there. But uh, I'm going to sneak my way down. This Last but not least is Little Bear Peak in the San Grita Cristos. The standard route involves the hourglass, and that alone makes a little bear deadly. Rockfall from above gets funneled down the middle like a shooting gallery. This is the middle of the hourglass, the infamous hourglass. Hey, Lynn, how do you feel, man? Good. You summited. I feel really <laughs> the safer alternative is to climb it in winter with snow cover. It always feels good to make the summit, but the cost of admission on these 14ers can be steep. The common denominator is the weather. The bottom line, understand the weather, the mileage, the route, and most importantly, yourself. So, uh, Tom, you might remember that. Remember Samuel Frappier? Remember that guy? Mm. He went up on longs in tennis shoes. Oh, yes. Uh, cotton socks. Two years ago. A t-shirt and had a cell phone with him. That's what we're trying to avoid here. You got to plan for these peaks because they'll get you. They'll sneak up on you. When you talk danger, we think of falling, but you're talking about being hit by rocks in some areas. You're talking yeah. about lightning strikes That's and right. others, right? The weather is a key part of this. That's right. You, yeah, not, ev not every day is different. You can't underestimate any one of these factors. Uh, and you have to plan each day as if it's a new day. Mm -hmm. Yesterday is not a predictor of tomorrow. Well, well, gosh, the threat of falling is enough for me. I just, <laughs> I'm out. I, I mean, the fear I have now is just standing anywhere near the IKEA sign. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's going to be windy here on Saturday, so uh, that's, uh, avoid that. That's dangerous. <laughs> that was really interesting. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks, Chris. Chris. Sure. All right, uh, you, yeah, you, you really summited. sold me on it, Tony.